Okay, we are in Dunedin, 2025 Edgewater Drive. Well, actually, it's kind of clear water. Um, the clean out actually is off of the Gar Granada Street, and we're running upstream, or trying to, anyways. With him. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video one second. Okay, sorry, I had, had to finagle the camera to get up in the pipe. It's pretty steep clean out here. So, already we can see a uh, flushable wipe type toilet paper. Uh, it's underwater, or it could be a small little belly. We're going to keep pushing forward. So, we're going upstream for sure. Not sure what I'm running into here. I can't really see anything because it's underwater. So I'm not even sure if this is like, say, end of the run. Or if it's just like a build up in the pipe and I just can't get past it from here. We're going to go ahead and try to run the camera back, see if we can see why it's holding this much water, if this is a belly or if someone's just running constant water in here. Looks like it's just a belly. Looks like it's holding water pretty good here. I'm seeing a whole bunch of toilet paper debris in the line. I can't even see the condition of the pipe because it's holding that much water. So we're going to try to pull back nice and slow. I'm four, I, I, this, as far as I can push it is uh, about 50 feet. Cast iron definitely has some, uh, some scaling to it. That's why it's preventing it from my camera going any further. So I'm going to try to pull back nice and slow so that way we can see what's going on here. Because I just cannot see anything.
So you're going to notice a lot of back and forth in this video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get leave it right here. I'm going to pause the video. So next time I resume the video, it's probably going to do a jump uh, in distance. So disregard that. Uh, there's definitely a lot of toilet paper being clogged up in the line. So I'm going to pause the video here and send the camera back in. Or I'll just leave it running. Um, now that I know that I got most of the gunk out of the line, There's definitely some uh, harder parts of this line, like on the bottom, where there's parts some buildup. But the truth is, is, I feel like the problem here is going to be mostly focused on the type of toilet paper here. And there is some channeling on the bottom of the pipe, and there is some scaling on the side of the pipe. That's why I'm having a hard time going any further forward than... What was that, 40, 40 or so feet? I believe this is that. Yeah, so 48 feet is pretty much the stopping point for the camera. We can see that water is being ran and is running my way. I just heard someone flush a toilet, so that's excellent. And uh, when I first got here, it was completely holding water, so I couldn't even see. Alright, cool. So now we can kind of get an idea of what's in front of us. Boy, that's really tough to tell which side of the pipe I'm looking at. kind of see the, the pipe being a little deformed on the side. That's just a, preventing my camera from wanting to go through. So either I have the uh, middle unit running uh, the bathtub and that's probably likely what's above us. That does look like a drain of some sort. So this line, this line could benefit from hydro jetting. It's going to remove all this cast iron flaking on the side of the pipe and also all the debris that's built up on the top and also really identify if there is an issue with the sewer pipe if there is anything broken. I have them. So all that just toilet paper you can see on the bottom. And if I let the camera sit here for a minute, it'll clear up, so it should. It's all toilet paper. I think your major issue is the type of toilet paper being used here. So you could do one or two things. You can either have a serious conversation with everyone here. Are these vacation rentals, too? Oh, you're I try to get the fear of God in them. Don't need any Charmin. Yep, Charmin, Angel Soft, Cottonelle. Yeah. All those brands are the worst. It one takes. Fly. Same, yep, it, it takes only one of those bad flush with this old, uneven, non-smooth cast iron pipe to cause an issue for everybody. And here's the problem, is that the toilets that they make in today's time is they don't, they don't flush as well. No. They don't have the volume behind it like the toilets that were built for this, that were built in the same time. Five, oh, geez, they are probably five gallons back then. Oh, really? Probably. I would say most are March 2.5. Yeah. I'm changing them out as I need them, of course. Nowadays, it's one, like 1. 1.6. Yeah. Garbage. So you would suggest a jet ski? Jet, jet, jet ski. Yeah, jet <laughs> ski. Yeah, I want a jet ski up the beach. There's one about yeah. right now. So you can see once it comes out of all the funk, 
it, it, it races pretty well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's flying by me pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you could you could do a study with uh, trial and error and just make sure everyone changes toilet paper. If they don't change toilet paper, they'll see you here all the time. They'll see the plumber here all the time. And then, yeah. uh, and then jetting, jetting does help. It will help, but it won't solve the problem. Because if you use this kind of toilet paper, mm -hmm. it's just going to be an ongoing 